Have you ever been peer pressured into doing something you know you weren't supposed to do? Hey YouTube, Kev Boy Productions here. And today I have a story time or a story to tell you about how I got caught by the principal for trying to like, you know, stay after school with the after school club and go to places you weren't supposed to go in the school. You know, in those hours or anything. Let's get the story started. Alright, so here's what happened. Um, everyone was like going on their buses because you know school's finished and stuff like that. But me on the other hand, instead of getting on my bus, I decided to go with my friends and just like try to sneak our ourselves into the auditorium so we can play tag or something like that. While we were trying to get there, the principal came out of nowhere. He's like, what are you guys doing? So, me, I'm just standing there like, oh shoot, we just got caught. My friends, they, they already came up with an excuse. I just said I had to use the bathroom, which was a total lie, because we all know what I was trying to do. Go to the auditorium to play some tag. I, I was lying, saying, oh, I had to use the bathroom. But, other than that, he was like, but you guys missed the bus. And he told me that I should have went before, you know, the school was about to end. I didn't say nothing. I was just like, oh boy, because we we are in some trouble here. I was thinking, oh, he saw through us. I was thinking, oh, he knows we're lying. Takes us to his office, tells us, all right, we're going to call your parents. So here's me. I'm like, oh boy, oh boy, because I was, I was scared. I'm like, you know, I really thought I was in trouble, but he didn't know that I was lying. I didn't really have to go use the bathroom. We all know what I was doing. So, I was telling him I don't know my mom's number because I really don't. I, when it comes to stuff like this, I don't know that like type of stuff. But you know, I need to know that now. So it's good. But like I said, I had my friends with me, but I think they knew their number and their mom's number, and they were trying to call their mom, but no answer for none of them. Shoot, what am I gonna do? Because if nobody's um phone number is not working or like you know answering or anything what's gonna happen so he took us down to the detention room now we weren't in trouble because we already came up with an excuse to not get in trouble i don't i don't know why i keep saying this like you know we all know but what i'm saying is he took us to the detention room we had to sit there and wait for the late bus now i cannot believe i got away with that i was thinking oh if they find a way to contact my mom she's gonna come over here and start beating me but I keep forgetting, I did not get caught. So, how am I gonna get in trouble? I was like, oh my god, like, I was scared. Because I was like, oh boy, he's gonna know what's gonna happen. I was thinking, oh, they're gonna check the cameras, they're gonna, you know, just to make sure we're not lying. None of that happened. I still cannot believe I got away with that. Now, you know, I, I mean, I, I probably get in trouble but <laughs> that's besides the point the takeaway from the story is do not do anything stupid when you're at school because you don't know what's gonna happen and sometimes the lord is there to bail you out that's a bad takeaway don't listen to me uh team out